Hello, I'm Mirkov. We're doing more drafts. I'm liking drafting. Uh, if you uh, missed the last time, which you did because I didn't record it, we won even more. But uh, man, what a great deck that was. Uh, this time, though, looks like we might have a different deck. Not going to do Gruel, perhaps. Clamor Shaman is nice. Also got these Orzhov Racketeers. But we have a Seraph of Scales. Uh, Afterlife 2, 4-3 Flyer, Death Touch, Vigilance, sometimes. That's pretty cool. This guy's pretty cool. Summary Judgment, Savage Smash, Chillbringer. Those are really the kind of big picks. We're going to take Seraph Scales. It's going to move us into Orzhov. Um... Considering that we are Orzhov, Frilled Mystic, Zertog Goblin, and Skatewing Spy are not going to help us that much. I mean, could splash it. Uh, but none of those are good enough that we'd necessarily want to abandon this right out. Instead, we could take uh, Blade Juggler, uh, Final Payment, Oligarch. In fact, I might... Um, might take the Oligarch over the Final Payment. Now I'll take the final payment. Oligarch is nice, but... I mean, that's just... Just good. Uh, here we have a Lawmaker's Binding to consider. Um, Spire Mangler. Flash 2-1. Flyer gives something plus 2 plus 0. Uh, sorry, a Flyer plus 2 plus 0. So that's actually important. Because that mostly is going to only hit Spirits. Uh, we have a Forbidding Spirit. Not a Flyer. When there's a battlefield until end of turn, creatures can't attack us unless their controller pays two for each one. So it just kind of locks down the board a little bit. It's not that amazing. Lawmaker's Binding might, in fact, actually be better in practice. Puts more in the Azurius colors. Um, but there's something to be said for taking this for... Bidding Spirit. A 3-3 three, three for 3 uh, in white is kind of hard to come by. But I do feel like Lawmaker's Binding is just good. Uh, might be, might just be better than a 3-3 three, three for 3. So we're going to take it. Uh, here we have a Summary Judgment, um, Fairy Duelist, Guild Gates. Uh, Archway Angel is not really worth considering. Considering where we're at, I think, uh, I think I'll start with the Summary Judgment. Fairy Duelist is cool, but it's not super cool. Uh, Skitter Eel is not terrible. Also have Azurius Guild Gate, Screaming Shield. Our uh, good buddy, the Gatebreaker Ram. We're going to start with Skitter Eel, though. Senate Courier uh, is neat. Yeah, you see, um, blue and white is just a little bit under-costed, but uh, with the Adapt, this will be fine. Or overcosted, I should say. Let up the stage is nice. Uh, Arrestor Zeal is okay. Twilight Panther is okay. I'm thinking almost maybe just taking the Twilight Panther. They've mostly not worked out when we've fought against them uh, for our opponents, but we're just better at the game, maybe. Uh, we also have Guilty Gates. Thought Collapse is so-so. It has a minor mill effect. Mostly it's for the counterspell. Considering that, um, I don't know, more likely to use maybe Sage's Savant. I'm going to take the Twilight Panther. We're not super in uh, to those colors yet. 
<clears throat> Debtor's transport at six is fairly expensive. I mean, it is nice. But it is six. Uh, might just take a Zarius Guildgate. I think the Watchdog is okay, but not amazing. Undercity Embrace is probably playable. Could, of course, take a Locket, but I don't think it's that great. Now we're back to the first hand here. Uh, Blade Brand is okay, um, but we really don't have a lot of spirits. In fact, we have almost none. We have, in fact, zero. This is the problem. Might just take, like... Could be Dead Revels, but... I mean, the black cards we have aren't that great. Maybe just, like, a Prowling Caracal. Rester's Admonition. Maybe just take the Caracal for now. Uh, Knight of Last Breath, 7 for 4-4 four, four with Afterlife, 3. It's generally not been that scary when we've seen it. I mean, it's big. But at the same time, I think I'll just take Caracal. Oh god, an inheritance, maybe. Uh, actually, Skitterwing. Yeah, Skitterwing over the inheritance, I think. So we're looking maybe into a Azurius with a splash for uh, some black. In which case, I could considerably run Thought Collapse. Could even run Shimmer of Possibility, but... Um, I might like Thought Collapse better. Uh, this could be an Orzhov Guildgate. Uh, this could be Wall of Thoughts. But I do like Homunculus, I think, a little bit better than that. Hard to say. Um, job in Azurius is essentially to hold down the ground. Uh, while we kill things in the air. So this is going to be like maybe a Senate Courser, Senate Courier, or a Twilight Panther. Considering we already have one, and we're not really sure how black we're going to be. Um, might just be the Courier. Uh, don't really want to clear the mind. Thought Collapse number two is probably okay. Last pick, Resolute Watchdog. Not to say it's bad or anything. Ethereal Absolution, I think, is a bomb. Just all of our creatures are plus one, all of their creatures are minus one. Exile creatures from opponent graveyard to get spirits. Yeah. Um, things we might like to wheel. Maybe the Vampire, maybe Sky Tether. Uh, that's really about it. Uh, we have two really good cards in uh, white-black. I'm wondering if we want to even push further in that direction. Um, with either a Summary Judgment or maybe a Grotesque Demise. Could be a Clear the Stage. However, we don't have any creatures, really. We have one. That's four power. So that's not going to do a huge amount. Could take the Skitter Eel, number two. We only have two... We really only have two cards we super want to run. So, maybe we'll try to stick with Azurius for now. I guess three. It's sort of maybe do three color. And I kind of like the idea of... Uh, perhaps getting Skitter Eel. We're going to need a lot of mana. Let's see. I mean, 
mean, Skittereal is a fine 4-drop. It's maybe not the uh, top pick for a card, but it is fine. Here we have Knight of Sorrows. I don't like Knight of Sorrows. It's only a 3-3 three, three for 5, and the Afterlife's only 1. Really no other abilities. Can't block Flyers. Um, Arrestor's Zeal. Uh, it's a nice combat trick. Just plus 2, plus 2. Which might do it. If we don't take Arrestor's Zeal, could take maybe Screaming Shield or the Guild Gate. And I think... I'm just going to take Guildgate here. Uh, could, of course, be Undercity Scavenger. Uh, we're not so deep into Azurius that we have to. Uh, we really don't have many spirits. That's, that's kind of the other problem. Despite wanting to play these cards, we don't have spirits. Uh, so in this case, this could be an Essence Capture. Or a Stalwart. I kind of like Essence Capture. Counters a creature spell, and it gives us plus one, plus one. Onto something. Only counters creatures, huh? Is that what we want to do? Uh, the other option is maybe the Civic Stalwart. However, we're not going to be able to go that wide. Um third option would be this vampire. I think the scavenger uh, we don't have the right cards for. Plague White is a bit aggro. I almost wonder if we can do that. Um, in terms of creatures, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven-ish non-creatures so far. I think it'll be fine. Uh, do you have a Blade Juggler, which is cool? Sentinel's Mark? Fairy Duelist? Even Exposed to Daylight is worth considering. Uh, probably, probably will take... Uh, Maybe we'll take Fairy Duelist over the Blade Juggler. The both are good. Um, here, I think we take the Sphinx of the Guild Pact. Um, we're pretty multicolor, and that's just nice. Here's going to be a Pegasus. Uh, just keeps the board locked down a bit. High Alert is certainly a card we want to think about. So this lets all of our, like, 1-3s act like 3-3s. Three uh, so I think we just take it. Um, the Hazada Officer is certainly fine. But I think High Alert uh, does do stuff. Since our goal is to win in the air, Sky Tether um, is worth considering. So is Slime Bind. In fact, because Slime Bind is a flash, I wonder if it's even a bit better. Uh, this actually does not stop Reach. It only uh, removes Flying. So I'm going to take Slime Bind. We're kind of going pretty heavy in blue. Which I'm not sure if that's what we want to be doing. It certainly seems fine. So this could be a courier or a petitioner. At this point, I don't really think that we're uh, going to be... Well... Man. We have a lot of counter magic... I think I'll take the courier. 
just blocks a little bit better. Um, this could, in fact, be a Screaming Shield. It's pretty expensive, but... Uh, is it really better than Arrestor Zeal? Skatewing Spy is going to make these eels fly. I don't know. I guess it depends how often we think we're going to win from decking. And I think the answer is not often. Take the vampire. Yeah, so we are way over. I am going to take Exposed to Daylight as a sideboard. In other colors, we have had difficulty actually destroying enchantments. Uh, take Prying Eyes. I don't know. Kind of hard to say. Uh, here we do have a Lumbering Battlement. This is a uh, quite an aggressive card. We're taking it. Other things to consider. We have Lawmaker's Binding. And some other mediocre cards. Uh, which we'll certainly be happy to take. Uh, if they come back around. Got this uh, Night Arbiter. Night Arbiter is the pick. 2-5 uh, Unblockable Vigilance. Uh, Terramander is probably acceptable. Carnage Carnival is not going to be the one this time around. Yes, yeah, so we really are ending up uh, fairly Azurious. <clears throat> to the point where I think we start cutting like Under City's Embrace. Maybe even cut Final Payment. Uh, though I don't know, it's fairly well costed. Uh, here we have a Chillbringer. This is a uh, more tempo card. Uh, Dovine's Acuity. Every time you cast an instant during your main phase, you can return it to your hand. Well, we have, what, Rester's Zeal. Uh, Summary Judgment. Um, final Payment is three. Really just, like, th three, maybe four with Prying Eyes? Alternative is we can take, like, what, Spirit of the Spires. Makes my flying creatures stronger. Chillbringer, which is more tempo. Uh, I think any of those three. Uh, at this point, we're kind of trying to decide between what we've got. I'm wondering if we just, like, take out High Alert, maybe take out the Watchdog... Maybe take out the panther. This panther does need black, so it really is not a card we're going to use. Two guild gates. Uh, so this, this on the other hand, would give my flying creatures plus zero, plus one. So it's like Pegasus, two, three, four, five, six, I don't know, seven. That's also a lot of payoff. Chillbringer does just lock up the ground. Kind of hard to say. And of course, Azurius Guildgate is, I think, our backup. We're really fine with any of these. The fact that Dovian Security only triggers on instance and only in our main phase means... Really, like, one... Maybe, like... Yeah, it's only during your main phase. I don't think Adovian Security is going to pay off. 
I think I'm more inclined to take uh, Chillbringer. Though Spirit of the Spires is interesting. Yeah, I'll take Chillbringer. Uh, this could be another Night Arbiter. With a second Night Arbiter, I think Hyler is looking better. Yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good so far. Could do Fairy Duelist, could be Corsair, Sphinx Insight. Well, I'm sort of looking at this, I'm thinking... Okay, so we have t maybe two or three two drops. I don't really want to be running Thought Collapse. As our three drop. Yeah, Imprisoned Orator is not the pick. I think I take the um, Pegasus here. Racketeers is nice. We also have this Hazda officer. We have this Last Breath, but I don't think Last Breath is going to do it. Might in fact lose final payment. I'm not sure. Uh, we are currently fairly controlling. Might even just remove that thought collapse. In favor of, what, like a officer? Could be. Uh, we do have a sky guard. I think we take that. Maybe ditch prying eyes. Um, I mean we're we're kind of just flush with uh, good and interesting options. To the point where I, th I don't even know. Like maybe we cut a skitter eel. Maybe we cut Skatewing Spy. Because I'm trying to think, like... You know, what is our, what is our game plan here? And I think our game plan is uh, lock down the board and then swing it in the air with just, like, big flyers. In which case, Code of Constraint, uh, I think, plays into that. Here we are going to take Guildgate. Uh, I think I'll just grab maybe a locket just for the fun of it. I oh, will do guild gate. At four guild gates, this is like almost playable. I don't know if it is, but it might be worth considering at least. Uh, same thing here. I'm thinking maybe just commando. We already have a sec uh, commando, but um, yeah, whatever. Take Knight of the Last Breath. Okay. Um, yeah, so what we're looking at here is, what is this, like 34 plus 9? About 3 over. And we are really heavy on the uh, top side. To the point where I'm wondering if maybe I should, like, have Prying Eyes instead. 
instead of like Archway Angel, but like the fact we are so heavy on uh like homunculus, whatever. Skitter you might be better. Can't tell how aggressive we want to be. I feel like High Alert um, does have a huge payoff here. So it pays off two there. One there. Uh, three there. Three there. Uh, maybe the officer. Actually, it, it makes Seraph of Scales weaker, which is a bit strange. Uh, makes these Knight Arbiters uh, game winners. Might just, like, take out Sphinx of the Guild pack, though. It is hard to argue with. Um, Sphinx compared to this. So how many guild gates we have? Four. It's not that good. Could take out slime bind. Um, though I'm thinking maybe instead of taking out slime bind, I should take out final payment. I don't know, final payment's too good. Uh, Xerxes Skyguard might be too slow. That's, I guess, what I'm thinking. In which case, yeah, here we go. Um, don't have any idea how good this is going to be. It's a real mystery. So I think all the drafts so far that have won either four or five uh, rounds, I've been playing sort of Gruul or Rakdos, maybe a little splash of a Simic. Uh, this is not going to do it. That's not going to do it. That's going to have to work. We're just going to keep looking. Okay, so they're also playing Azurius. Uh, could be a problem. playing Azurius. I don't know. They've got a counter spell, but we gotta play something. I think I'd rather have Seraph of Scales than a Knight Arbiter. Uh, 
Um, oh, they might have another counter spell. They probably do. final payment and kill the uh, Sphinx of Foresight if I need to. Summary Judgment. It's in fact probably going to be... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so they completely tapped out. Uh, that gives us five to work with. is probably just um, casting summary judgment on the foresight. Uh, could final payment to kill the Chillbringer. And I think I will. It was going to hit me for three anyway. I, like, arguably I could have played Serum of Scales instead of killing both, but that doesn't seem like how I was going to win. Alright, if they're not out of mana uh, at this point, or counter spells, then there's just nothing I can do. Counter spell number three? Or number two? Alright. Uh, is this a paste? No. So they can do something. Um, okay, they can deploy some Thopters. I'm okay with that. And they can throw it back into my hand. Um, cool. Let's go ahead and get Vigilance and attack. That animation is pretty neat. Uh, drop a career. Uh, normally keeping up Swamp would be good, in case they wanted to fight. Uh, but they shouldn't have any fight in the colors they have. Alright. For each instant sorcery, so like, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so I can high alert here. High alert um, would be fun. But I think instead what I'll do is I'll just uh, throw that on Terramander.
Not clear why they didn't watch the Seraph of Scales. Which would have had the same effect. It's not like it has trample. Um. Okay. Since it was going to deal 5, there's no point in using the ability to make it bigger. It would have only been 5. Uh, in this case, I should high alert. Um, should I high alert? Maybe I... Yeah, I should high alert. Hylord is actually strong against um, Slime Bind. So we should watch out, because I think we're running through Slime Bind. Uh, power 4 or greater. Um, what are you talking about? It doesn't have. <laughs> it doesn't have power 4 or greater. It's just a baby. Uh, okay, so so that was uh, that was interesting. We are gonna want to run exposed to daylight, and I think we're gonna want to um, maybe. Pull out a skitter eel. Maybe, maybe that's fine. What did I do? Here we go. Might pull out a fairy duelist. And, you know, they were pretty slow. Like, they were very slow, as things go. But, it's probably okay. I was considering the Gateway Angel. But it's probably not good enough to be playable. We're in a great position here. Turn four Skitter Eel, threaten to adapt. But probably we just drop the Arbiter or the Chillbringer. Okay, we have Slime Bind. Um, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, well, that will in fact be never, I believe. Okay. I could just slime bind that. I'm gonna slime bind it anyway, so I might as well. They can attack with Snake, it just won't do anything. Uh, so we'll go ahead and drop this eel. Then I think probably follow it up with uh, Knight Arbiter.
Um, okay. That's interesting. So, it has defender and loses flying, so it actually can't attack yet. And I'm sensing a counter spell. Okay. I hope we have two ways to get rid of that Sky Tether. my Pegasus. That's a shame. They got uh, three good hits there. There's the Chillbringer. So I will be able to Chillbringer my own. Ooh, and exposed to daylight. That Skitter Eel. Um, yeah, we are going to have to Chillbringer, though. Go ahead and lock down the Gryphon. Uh, yep. We're gonna have to block. I think that's fine. Counter my exposed to daylight. Wow. Okay. Lots of counter magic. Let's go ahead and drop the guild gate. Uh, yeah. We lost, uh, we lost High Alert, so that creature uh, is useless. We also lost the Battlement, that's a third way. Fourth Counterspell? Um, we'll just pass. <clears throat> Though I guess we could have attacked with the Pegasus for one. I think leaving it back is okay here. Counter a spell and put a plus one, plus one counter. Damn. Okay. Yeah, what is this? Four, yeah, four counter spells so far. Man, um, I think we just have to take it. Prowling Caracal, yeah. Um, I do have some outs still. Just not many. Yeah, 
Need the seven mana five five flyer. Perhaps. Oh, they've got it. Well. That is gonna make things quite difficult. because I messed up. Have to give it Vigilance first. That's fine. Don't think I'm going to win this one. But that is one health I could have gotten. Uh, sure. Alright. Uh, we can see what they would play. If they're going to play anything. They're not going to. Alright, we can see. Okay, two to beat this. That is a tough one. They are running a heck of a lot of counter magic. I almost wonder if we maybe remove that. Maybe we, instead of Skitter Eel, we actually run our own counter magic. Might need Azuria Skyguard instead of a Zeal. Something like this. That's gotta. It's gotta look like it. Why doesn't it look like. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, whatever. Uh, yep, we're done. Most important part, we gotta have the best deck box. That's how you decide the winner. We are going to play first. We are going to keep. So it's going to be turn 2 Pegasus. Potentially turn 3 Essence Capture. Which would not be the worst. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna pass. They have showed that they are running so much counter magic. I'm just not gonna play into it. definitely have counter magic. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll just pass. Um, yeah. Okay. 
Uh, let's try this. If they have a quench, I guess they have a quench. Alright, cancel. I, I hope we mess this up. Seems like they do. Uh, they even had essence capture instead. Okay. Uh, that is fine. I can Seraph of the Scales. I can summary judgment on that. Um, I could also perhaps just run like Skyguard. But I get the feeling summary judgment's going to be better here. can leave up Essence Capture. There we go, finally. Oops, uh... Oh, and I can expose to Daylight? be cool. Also, I could just run Azurius Skyguard. Uh, probably just run Azurius Skyguard out. I think it's better to get these creatures on the board than to just go in for an extra four. Considering that they have three mana up. Uh, I might just drop high alert first. And then expose to daylight. If they counter it, if they don't counter it, then sure. So that will start gaining them some life. Uh, we are going to get Vigilance. Because why not? Uh, 
Uh, so they can gain two life. Um, sure. That was, <laughs> oh my god, that was wrong. Let's try again. That's getting counterspelled. spells. Two essence capture, one thought, whatever. Okay. Um, yep, here we'll get Vigilance. We're gonna draw a card and discard a card. Um, okay, they're gonna do that instead of gaining life. Seems a bit surprising. So they might have some kind of trick. Uh, but if they do, I don't know what it is. Maybe a slime bind? Uh, okay. That seems legit. I think we will want to just drop this and we still have more? We have more counter spells, my god. Um Yeah, so we'll hit for five. If we let this we'll need to deal ten. So we'll just lock that down. Um oh. It's actually pretty interesting. So they did that just so they could draw a card. They basically cycled that. Okay. Uh, finally, we have a counter spell of our own. Uh, so we can do final payment. And attack for lethal. Uh, we will pay five life. We will kill that. Uh, we are going to counter. No, we'll counter the thought. There we go. Sorry, the interface is not the most appealing. <laughs> and our opponent was uh, just being very controlling. What creeper. All right, here we go, bad player for life. I'm, I'm awaiting what is certainly going to be a meme deck of some kind. Man, I did not look at the land distribution of my deck for some reason. I'm such a good player. Good player for life, that should be my name. Oligarch. Unfortunately, with the Oligarch, I can't do much about that. But I can drop a Pegasus. And, uh... I hope that helps.
I wonder if I should lose the Caracal. Where's that locket? That's fascinating. Watchdog, also. I think we'll just wait. It's not going well. Probably gonna have to lose this Gator Eel. They're gonna mortify it. Yeah, that's fair. Let's get her eel. Uh, that thing is... I think it's big. We're gonna take eight. Nine. I think we... Let's concede. What the heck's going on? That's just... I think it was just bad draw. My land looks fine. Uh... That's looking better. Already, so... Wait. Blocking creature gets minus one, minus one. Ooh, Kidoki. Uh sure, we'll just pass. Fairy duelist kills the white. Each creature blocking it uh, gets minus one. So no, it doesn't. It, it actually does nothing. Uh, yeah, we'll just do no blocks. Um, cool, so considering that, We'll just throw out our our own mythic. So I can summary judgment, uh, but in this case, I think the answer is going to be um, go ahead and just get vigilance. And attack the surf scales.
Um, sacrifices a creature. I'll probably just lose the duelist. Meh. Duelist is not really doing a lot. Yep, I'll just take from uh, two from the white. We'll have a Knight Arbiter of our own. do the right thing. Whatever. I'm supposed to give it vigilance. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but I did technically have the mana to give it vigilance. Uh, yeah, that's fine. It afterlifes. is the nice thing about afterlife. Okay, so we do have a seven turn clock, surprisingly. Okay, eight turn clock. But the important thing is, uh, yeah, we're good. I can actually just start attacking in here, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Probably drop the Zarya Skills Gate next. Does three to attack the creature unless it's my turn, my main, in fact. Um, sure. So I can just block this. And I can just block that. Let's see what happens. Uh, target creature gets minus three, minus three. Um. Okay. Sure. We're not in a great spot. Ooh, 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 ooh. Not with a gate colossus.
always forget that thing has Afterlife 3. Uh, man. I'm kind of tempted to just... Wait. Oh, cannot be blocked by a creature with the power two or less. Man, that is good. Um... Crap. Well... Guess we have to kill the messenger. really got us. Maybe I shouldn't have played into blocking that. Just let it deal for. Oof, that's a good card. Yeah. Have to just start chumping things. Still take four. was quite a bit more aggressive than our previous opponent. Um, I did like some of the modifications that I made, though. I think running uh, running Thought Collapse is reasonable. I'm even thinking about running Exposed to Daylight main board. Just because, like, you know, it's good. I think it's got to be good. All right. We're going to try to set that as our main. Ooh. There you go. We are at one loss pretty early on. We're going to hope that it's not uh, going to be the way of things, but we are playing Azurius, which is weaker in general. It's essentially what we've noticed. Uh, Mulligan. We're going to have to keep that. It's not what we want. Uh, but we want to be able to play Seraph with the scales. Um, our opponent is playing Simic. Now there is the Thought Collapse. Ah, uh, that would have been nice. You collapse. But oh, that's fine. Yeah, we'll just take that one. Oof, shark or crab. Uh, the fact that they have that Sharkto Crab is kind of a problem. Yeah, we're going to have to slime bind it. Uh, just so that we don't take too much damage. We're going to take Vigilance.
Uh, here I think I might just want to block it. Well, or maybe not. Maybe I just take it. Griffin. Okay. Um now we're getting places. So I can throw a Lawmaker's Binding on it. That seems bad. I could throw a Knight down. I mean, maybe what I have to do is just bind that Griffin. Yeah, I think we just bind the griffin. Um, and we do this, and we say give us vigilance. Just keep trying to keep pace with the, the race, I guess. Okay. Uh, they definitely messed up. They meant to adapt and not make that fly. So, considering that, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to trade here. We've got a huge handful of stuff. We've got a handful of counter spells. Come at me, bro. Um. Yeah, so we can just like essence scatter that. Or I can thought collapse. I'm gonna essence scatter it. was so tilted they just left okay because they messed up the uh, the trigger there it's too bad I mean <laughs> they were probably they had a good chance of winning maybe not outright um, but it was not looking super great uh, we're gonna log in that I'm going to keep that with an island on top. Pretty much the ideal opening. Not really. Um, high alert? Yes. Um, counter spell me.
Okay. I guess we'll just hang around doing nothing. Uh, yep. This is not looking great. Um, sure. Sure. Impassioned Orator. Yep. Yep. Seems fine. <laughs> they discarded Dovin's acuity because they fucked up because they need to keep up a counter spell. Is that what this is? Um, okay, because they're desperate to keep up a counter spell. I think I pass. I mean, if if they're gonna discard cards. Um, because they're scared of whatever I play. Um, sure. I'll throw in a slime bind. I'm gonna counterspell it. They're gonna adjust a car's portal. Really? Alright. Uh, so I can fairy duelist at end of their turn if I wanted to. I think I think it's time to rock and roll. Let's see what you got. Yep, there's the essence capture. Um they're gonna leave it wide open. Okay. Is this gonna get counterspelled? That's gonna get counterspelled. Okay. I guess I could have saved myself two life by playing this differently. Whatever. They're gonna essence capture it again. Awesome. Oh, so I can just summary judgment. I wonder if I do that. I think I do. Just kills their only creature. They're playing again. Just counter spells. 
Three counter spells, four counter spells so far. Yep. Counter spell. Waiting for it. Five counter spells and Dovian's acuity. Yeah, I don't know why they would even have Dovian's acuity. Honestly, um, Counterspell. Ooh, they deployed instead of counterspelling. Whoa, wait a minute. What is this? This can't be reality. Yep, there's the lawmaker, but that's fine because I can battle mint. Uh, so I drop Battlement. Battlements have Vigilance. We still have to win pretty fast. Uh, sure. That actually doesn't do anything because of high alert. Uh, that also doesn't do anything because of high alert. <laughs> All right. It is technically a two seven. But it still deals 7 damage, so it doesn't really matter. Alright. I only have 6 cards left in my deck. Exile an online permanent. Um, sure. Definitely okay with that. And uh, I can 
throw down Lawmaker's Binding. I don't see any reason to. Uh, so I cannot cast that. So I can use High Alert to untap my Sphinx. Perfect. So, yep. Sorrow. All right. Sure. Um, yeah, I think I do it like this. Now, let's just give that minus. Skitter eel. This is uncomfortably close. So I do have Counterspell, so... So them not reading how High Alert works might give me a win. So I can draw one card, exactly. Draw four cards and then discard two. Uh, um, I don't think so. Pass. Uh, do I actually win? Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> that, that was precarious. That was very, very precarious. Um, yet another just stall deck. Um,
Maybe just cut Fairy Duelist. I'm thinking even maybe cut a planes and add an island. Because uh we just we need to have our double blue. And our opponent is being really annoying. This had so many counter spells. Uh, we're gonna mulligan. We're gonna mulligan again. We're gonna keep. Uh, we're in fact, yeah, definitely just gonna keep that. We're gonna drop that to the bottom. So our opponent really doesn't understand how high alert works, which is nice for us. They seem to be very confused by it. They're gonna cycle that to draw a card. Oh wow, because they... They mulligan twice as well. Dobin's acuity. Well, they are probably not going to, like that choice, because I think we drop um, high alert here. This is only if you cast it during your main phase. Tap the guard. Yep, they are... They're gonna be sad about not holding up a million counter spells this game. Because it seems like once we get things on the board, they can't do much. Uh, we can expose to daylight, the acuity, but I don't see a reason to. Yeah, like the Dogen's Acuity, what's it gonna do? Pretty much nothing. They don't have instants they play on the main phase, they have counter spells. They have like six or seven counter spells. And they ha and they have these terrible tenth district veterans. Um, okay. Meanwhile, we have essence capture. And slime bind. We're dealing seven a turn. I mean, what are they doing? Um, sure. Let's just counter it. <laughs> These people with their like terrible grindy control decks. while I'm expecting, you know, Gruul and Rakdos.
our opponent is deciding. Um, that's keepable. We have two, two drops, so... Oh my god. Another grindy Azurius deck? Or is it going to be a Simic deck? I'm going to assume it's going to be Simic and throw out the Caracal. Didn't quench it. Does seem like they have some kind of combat trick in hand, perhaps. Ah, it's a fairy duelist. Okay. Damn you, Caracal. Man, two lands. Can I get a... Can a brother get a plains? Or an island? Actually, a <laughs> island would be pretty good. Six damage to a creature with flying. Alright. Seems greedy, but we're both stuck on two lands. At least they have all their colors. It's just summary judgment that. It's not what I want to be doing. Another fairy duelist, okay. Oh my god. There we go. Uh, what do I want to do here? Probably just high alert. It's not like I'm worried about a fairy duelist. And this way I can surprise duelist them. With uh, an alert duelist, we're going to pass. Right, yep. Very alert of my duelist. Um, so they lost a wrecking beast. That's that's pretty nice. I'm surprised they're running it. They're actually gruel. Wait, <laughs> they have gruel land. A wrecking beast. I don't... Okay. Our opponent is high on life. That's what it seems to be. Um, considering this, I think we uh, attack in. Throw down a lumbering guy. Um. Nah. Could have pulled the duelist out, but no reason to do it. Yes, they have an essence capture. And a core wrecker. What are they doing? <laughs> this is this is insanity. Um. I'm not gonna change my deck at all. Our opponent's playing, like, three or four color, it seems to be, and they're not even playing the best cards. Uh, I mean, they've got the Gore Wrecker, which is just 
kind of expensive for what it is. Just four mana, three, three, uh, menace in red. But they have essence capture, which is double blue. And they have a double green. Like, so they, it seems like they probably want to be Simic, but then I don't know why they're running red cards. Or Azurius Guildgate. And everybody likes uh, Karn. He's not even real. He's not even a real planeswalker. He's just a robot. Yeah, we're gonna keep. This is gonna be another absurd uh, high alert start <laughs> with another fairy duelist to just uh, win the day. Simic Guildgate. It's actually gonna be very similar to the previous one. They're playing five color. Now I'm upset. Um, they're playing the gate deck, is what they're doing. They have a fairy duelist in hand. Are they quench? Okay. They're. Oh my god! I don't know what they're doing again. This is just. Uh, Craziness. We're throwing down high alert. Are they gonna quench me again? No. Okay. Serious guild key, and we will just pass turn. Put our fairy duels down. Uh, we can expose something to daylight. And we can battlement soon. Hopefully we can pull one of our four black sources. Maybe we'll even be able to play Ethereal Absolution at some point. Yeah. Uh, I can just throw Lawmaker's Binding onto that. I think we just do that. Okay, there's the Gatebreaker of Ram. Kind of hoping that they have a uh, artifact or enchantment I can blow up. But it's seeming not likely. Considering where they're at, I think I'll throw it on Chillbreaker. Counterspelled? Probably. Yeah, Frill Uh, We're gonna do no, no attacks then. Mystic. Okay. We're gonna take six this turn. Um, 
I will uh, pass the option. Oops. Pass the option to get rid of our own duelist. We're still taking probably three in the air. So I have to block the ram. Cool. That was nice. Uh, that's pretty fast, considering how fast it was. I have three black sources. Yeah, I just got unlucky with my source colors. Yeah, I don't really see any reason to change anything here. Uh, we are definitely going to play first, and... We're going to keep. Code of Constraint. Tap something down and draws us a card. Which is going to be worth uh, keeping in mind. Oh, and we've got a Thought Collapse. Get guilt, get guilt, get guilt. Okay, let's see it. Is it going to be a ram? It's going to be nothing. Uh, yeah, considering they were playing counter spells, I think we'll just wait. We're in no hurry. So I've got eight mana. I'm okay with that. Draw four cards and discard two. Uh, no. That one is not going to happen, though. Meh. Took three lands. Okay, uh, if they have a quench, they have a quench, uh, but I think it's the time to play this. Seems like they, yeah, they don't just have a fairy duelist. story. Attack for two. 
All right. Uh, so here I can Chillbringer, or I could Absolution. Um, they don't have any creatures in the graveyard yet. So I'm thinking... Uh, yeah, I'm thinking I'll start with Chillbringer. down to two cards. Make her down a dagger faster. Uh, cool. I think here we probably so we can drop absolution and start the clock. Alternatively we can drop high alert and law binding, but I get the feeling Absolution is the right pick. It seems like they don't have a uh, counterspell at all. And this wipes their Gyre Engineer. Oh, they did have a Field Mystic. Okay. That could be a problem. Uh, they can still only hit me for four-ish. Yeah, now they have nothing left. So, uh, here we're going to do Lawmaker's Binding. And high alert. Breaker Ram is kind of cool. Uh, however, I can tap it down. And throw down Pegasus. can also final payment. Um, potentially just sacking the Pegasus. Or sacking a Pegasus if I need to. Uh, so this would be lethal. So I'm going to do two attackers. I could have final payment on the duelist. Um, here I will drop the... Oh wait. This says trample. I should be careful. Uh, I can drop a pegasus and I can final payment... Sacking Pegasus. Oh wait, 
Oh god. Okay. Do this. Sack. To kill the ram. Uh, paying two. Sacking that Pegasus. Let's just get rid of that. I have Submarine Judgment to kill the Dagger Caster if it taps. That should be it. I mean, I mean playing Azurius Guildgates just for the ram seems, uh, I don't know, it seems greedy. Gonna be the final round. We're either gonna go 5 1 or 4 2. I hope it's 5 1. That'll be nice. Start creeping into the, the uh, 80s percentile range. This is a keep. It's a weird keep, but it is a keep. Opponent mulligans twice. Uh, strategy on this one is just going to be get out skater eel. The fact they're playing red is uh, interesting. Might be finally gruel. Looks like a gruel opening. It is a gruel opening. Uh, we do not have the second blue. Um, meaning we can Lawmaker, or was it Law Mage's Binding? Which might be the play. Uh, sure. So they've been playing pretty slow, Skewer the Critic. Uh, we can end of turn Fairy Duelist. Probably just final payment to kill it. Well, I guess there's no reason to. Um, they don't have counter spells. Yeah, there's nothing they can do. I'll wait. It's not going to be a fast win. Let me have that. Um, I can flash in this and block it successfully with my Pegasus. 
Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Hopefully they don't have dagger caster. I mean, I guess. Okay, yet another uh, obstacle for us to overcome. In this case, I think it's going to be Shieldbringer. Shieldbringer on the Guardian. And um, attack for two. Oh boy. What is that? Oh, uh, it just adapts. Okay, so they've laid out their whole hand, so Essence Capture is almost useless. It's not entirely useless. Um, well, given this... Given this, I think we're taking uh, 7 from that Guardian. Um, I could also, uh, I could make this bigger. I could make this into a really big thing. But you know what? That's what we're doing. Getting rid of our Pegasus and we're getting rid of our Duelist. Uh, I guess I could have attacked with them first. For an extra two damage, but but hey, uh, okay. Yes, I want to see them do that. I will take 10 or something. I, of course, just block the Guardian. That's pretty good, if I can get another land. In the meantime, I think I just, uh... I think I keep Chillbringer back. Just to... Lock? Maybe not. Maybe I'll attack with it. I should hold it back. If they top deck to land, then I win. If they have something with haste, um, or some removal, maybe something interesting. No, so I'm, I'm fine then. They should have just um, held back.
like, the Rubble Belt attacker, I mean, he was going to die. Not sure if it was really worth uh, attacking and then losing the troll. But I don't know. I guess it was 10 damage. 10's a lot. Uh, hmm. Considering what our opponent had, this seems risky. But okay. We have all of our colors. We have playables. And I think I can just courier and then battle mint the courier. So it'll be like a 6-7. Which should be fine. Alright. Rhythm of the Wild. Double rioted. Yep. It's pretty good. Considering what they have, I wonder if I just uh, battle mint to get like a 9 or like an 8 9. This can only get up to a 7. Make sure I do this right. This needs blue. Alright, that should be fine. Okay, so they can play the rubble belt. Oh man. This is not good. I could throw a battlement down, removing the Courier. This will be a 4-4, four, four. that'll be a 4-4. Four, four. I'm gonna... Yeah, we're gonna pass. So we can evolve the eel and use final payment. Um, I think it's going to be required to do both. Might even have to sack the courier just to protect my life. Okay. So I'm going to give him a chance to pump the Arnix. Uh... Nope. Uh, that's not going to work. So I'm going back to the final payment. 
Uh, sack a creature. Next, a sack the courier. No. I'm gonna try this again. Sack a creature. Kill. Six. Yeah. Let's kill that. That has double menace. Or it has menace, rather. That's all what we need. Um, I'm gonna concede that one. Yeah, they're fairly aggressive. Um, I wonder if there is something we can do. Maybe like Thought Collapse. Maybe pull out the Guild Pact. It's a bit too slow. Let's give that a shot. first. Uh, I think it's keepable. We do a Fairy Duelist and uh, Slime Bind. Our opponent mulls once. They scribe to top. We really need that second blue though. Could be a bad round if we can't get uh, another land. Yep. It's gonna have to be fine. Right, slime bind it. Okay, uh, here we go. Guild Gate. We're gonna pass. So starting next turn, we can actually start controlling. Been failing to control things so far. It's too bad, because they're on, like, six mana. Yeah, Recluse. It could be bad. If the Vandal attacks in, I'll trade. Certainly happy to trade for the Vandal. Caracal. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna have to wait. Uh, 
Uh, because that needs to be thought collapsed. Okay. Three hits. What? 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 Huh? What? Wait. What happened? Why is it in play? I'm gonna have to review the video. What the fuck? No, like, really. Counter target spell, its controller puts three cards on top of. Why is it. Oh, fucking hell. Your spells are not counterable. Oh my god. Somebody knew that, and, uh. Gonna make fun of me for that. Huge mistake. I put more counter spells in. The counter spells don't work! Ugh. What am I thinking? Yep. Alright. So we go for two. That's the other half of this. You can't counter creatures, right? Just creatures can't be countered. Oh well. That's life. So here we are. Four wins, two losses. So we came out ahead, but uh, could have been a little bit better. Teeny bit better. We'll claim the prize. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. I'm Mirkov, and I will see you next time.